guys, it's your girl Ava Loving It and welcome to another travel vlog. I am here in Stockholm about to get my laundry done. Your girl doesn't have any more underwears to wear so I need to get my laundry done ASAP. Today is errands day so I'm gonna do my laundry and explore a little bit of Stockholm. Hi! Hello! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to go. Wait, lang, what's your name? Pretz. Pretz, okay. This is Pretz. Actually, I'm the girl who's a girl. Sorry. I'm not going to check his profile. I'm not going to check his profile. Sorry. Okay, so I'm in his place about to do my laundry. Oh my gosh, thank you. Ah. <laughs> Save your <laughs> Lunch with Brett. He's my new friend now. Before, used to watch my vlogs. Now, you're in the vlog. At naglo-lunch kami sa house niya. Thank you for our pad thai. Yes. Pad thai to lunch. Pad thai tayo dyan. Chinka. here in Drottning Home Palace. I'm so happy that the weather is finally better. Clear blue sky as you can see. Earlier today was so cloudy or maybe in the city it is. Um, yeah. So this is the palace. It's very easy to get here from Central Terminal. I took a Green Line Metro towards Bromha Plan and then from Bromha Plan I took a, a bus number 317 towards the Rotning Home Palace and yeah however there is an entrance fee to get inside the palace if you guys are up for it I'm quite not sure how much it is it's around 4 o'clock in the afternoon so if you guys want a good lighting of the palace come here at around 4 till 6 and this is Rico hello hi and yes <laughs> Brett earlier today. Yeah, nakilaba ako sa kanya, guys. It's giving me Alice in Wonderland vibes. Like, literally, feel like Alice in Wonderland's garden. The Queen's garden. This is a maze. Where they played what they call that's like a mini golf or something. If we want to go out on a date, I think this place is the best. You can maybe bring some snacks and like drinks, you know. So, yeah, and it's free. This place is also nice to go for jogging, cruise around on your bike. We were only here for 20? 20 minutes? 30 minutes? That's just enough time unless you want to go inside the palace and buy the ticket to tour around. Okay, after the palace, I checked in in my hostel. I'm gonna do a room tour tomorrow. Now, I'm here at Musibaken. And I have a local tour guide right here, Marcus. Hi. He's been helping me a lot where I should go here in Stockholm. He's been, you've been messaging on Instagram and then he's the one who recommended Rish, which is so good. And now we're talking about the places that I should visit here in Stockholm. Right now, we're just chilling here at this um, nice place, which is I can't pronounce again. What is it? It's called Musebake. Musebake. And right here, there's a rooftop bar called... Sedra Teater. Sedra Teater. Sedra Teater. Okay. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. For tonight, maybe we'll go bar hopping. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Second stop, we are here at Stockholm under the stars. There's no stars right now, though. I'm the star, just kidding. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. 
Last night, we did a little bit of bar hopping around Stockholm. I suggest to do a pre-game before you head out. Tonight, I'm gonna meet up with my Swedish girls, my viewers from Sweden, and we gonna party! I need some girls in my life and dance the night away. I like dancing. As promised, I am going to give you guys a room tour! I am staying here at Generator Hostel. I also stayed in Generator Hostel when I was in Amsterdam. A lot of you guys have been asking me where is that hostel. Here it is. They mostly have branches around Europe and I also think they just opened a new branch in the USA. I'm gonna put their link below to know more about the rates, the other locations, and what the rooms look like. This is my queen size bed. As you can tell, this side is fixed. I was sleeping on that side. Every time I sleep in a huge bed, I don't wanna ruin the other side, you know? The working table. I can hang some of my clothes there too. I have a full length mirror right here and also here. I think this one is better because it doesn't make me look fat. Oh my gosh, you guys, my sweater blends in perfectly like a camouflage. The thing that I like about most is this. The bidet, guys. Oh my gosh. Not a lot of hotels here in Europe has this and houses. Because I need to wash my hands. Um, tap water is drinkable. The water here in Sweden, it's refreshing AF. This is the shower. Yes, hot and cold shower. I have two extra beds, two bunk beds. You know, this is a dorm type. These are the lockers. This is a private room and it's good for four people. If you're traveling with your friends, it's a perfect room for you guys. I'll go down for breakfast. I need this token. For breakfast. This is the breakfast. 85 kroners the day before on your purchase. And you can see the events that they'll be throwing this week, every week I think. You can also rent a bike. And those, that's rates. Their elevator is so cute and artsy. So get by the bacon yan. For my sixth day here in Stockholm, we're here at Max, of course, with Brett. And we got new friends. This is Pia, Stephanie, and Amira Yako. Yako. Yeah, and they're all from the Philippines. So Mac is one of the famous food chains here. So it's like a Jollibee, Macdo. More likely, uh, Burger King. I'm gonna eat cheap food. Should try it out. I'm gonna try it for the first time. Mm. Okay, we're here at Skansen area, which I was like the other day. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'm gonna put the link below. This is where the ABBA Museum is. So if you guys are fans of ABBA or AVE, <laughs> you can go here. ABBA AVE. Um, so from Central Terminal, we took a number 7 tram to here. Second stop here in Skansen. There's an entrance fee which is 125 Swedish kroners for one whole day. You can see how the old Stockholm looks like inside. But since we're on a budget life, I think being outside is enough. This is one of the examples of the old buildings in Stockholm. And that's the only thing that you can see from outside. The rest you have to enter, pay 125 Swedish krons for one whole day. This is the map of the Skansen. I just found out that Skansen is the first and only one open air museum with wild animals. I'm at the back door of the theme park because I can't afford to, to get <laughs> Your girl wants to go inside but this is the only <laughs> thing that I can afford for now. The entrance fee to Gronalun theme park is also 120 Swedish krones. If your kids are 6 and below, their admission is free. Yes. 
Thank you guys. <laughs> Cheers to everyone. It's crayfish season during what months? August. Oh. I think it's August. Yeah, August. August or yeah. Okay, super power naman ito. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm eating in a fancy restaurant. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what what is this for? That's for our uh, hard drink. For water. Okay. For white or rosé and then okay. for red. Okay. <laughs> and daming guys. And dami. Of course. <laughs> Back here in my hostel. I'm not alone anymore. I'm with Ellie and Amy. Amy, <laughs> Ellie and Amy. Yes, they're they're Swedish, but they're from Gothenburg. I don't know why my camera is like. We are getting ready. It's so nice to have girls here in my room. You know, we're all getting ready, looking all pretty because tonight we are getting turned. But I don't think I'll be able to vlog about it that much. You know how it is. When I get intoxicated, I get super ratchet and that's not good for my kid viewers. I want to be a good example of what not to do. I think we're about to leave in an hour. I am definitely okay. loving. I be loving my hair thank you so much <laughs> Bibliothek Stockholm, their public library, and it's a 360 library. Oh my gosh, look at that! <laughs> and it's free to get inside. If you're a bookworm, you definitely should go to this place. It's like feeling bell in what they call in Beauty and the Beast. There's so many. And it's free to read. You can also borrow it. I'm not sure if you are a tourist though. You have to put your name in. Okay. the girls because they want to get their nails done so i went to kungshallen kungshallen is a food court you can find different types of food there if you want asian mexican middle eastern food also in that area there is a shopping district which is where i bought my clothes because the weather here in europe is starting to get cold and I need warm clothes. So now I'm, I'm walking towards Flippin' Burgers. Most locals said that it's one of the best burgers here in Stockholm. So I'm gonna try that one out on my last day. morning Thank <laughs> you. 